Hey Canucks fans, I just recorded my other video for this morning, the more in-depth video, but as I was doing that, Rick Dollywell reporting that the Seattle Kraken will indeed select Cole Lind from the Vancouver Canucks as part of today's expansion draft. No surprise considering that the three names that everyone, including myself, were narrowing down to were Cole Lind, Braden Holtby, and Zach McEwen. I think that list narrowed down to kind of Lind and Holtby, but it sounds like that the Seattle Kraken have made up their, their mind with, in terms of goaltenders, especially looking at Dreger and, and Kapanen as, as their, their A, 1A and 1B, so to speak. So that took Braden Holtby out of the mix. Expensive contract. We know all those things. That's why we we're kind of hoping that Seattle would take them. But Colin would take him, but Colin looks like he will be the pick for the Seattle Kraken. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any surprises tonight at the way that all the news is breaking. And I, I get to that in my other video, but Cole Lynn, 2017 draft pick, second round, right behind, at least from Canucks perspective, Elias Pettersson in that draft year. A lot of uh, you know intrigue, a lot of excitement, uh, potential for him. Had a brief eight game audition with the Vancouver Canucks at the end of this past season. Did okay, some concerns about his foot speed, but there's still hopes for his offensive creativity, a bit of his two-way game. Um, again, his skating is maybe his only issue, but it looks like the Canucks are gonna move, uh, uh, well, in, in acquiring Jason Dickinson, Colin was the one who became expend expendable, and therefore it's kind of, it, it makes sense that that's the guy that the Seattle Kraken are gonna take. Whether or not he makes the final roster, opening night roster for Seattle in October remains to be seen. Whether he's even a Seattle Kraken, T, uh, you know, player by the time October comes around, as I'll say in my in my next vlog that I'll post right after this, is um, got to remember whoever Seattle takes tonight, their roster is going to look a lot different come October just because of how much trading, flipping, um, asset management they can do. So Colin, eight games with the NHL Canucks at the end of last season the, with the pro team, spent a, a couple good seasons in Utica, honing his game, developing his game. You know, a decent. Uh, blend of size and skill but obviously not in the Canucks plan not enough for them to protect him this season so we'll look we'll look for confirmation tonight when I do my live stream at 5 p.m but it sounds like it's Cole Lind going to the Seattle Kraken from the Vancouver Canucks Canucks fans leave a comment below is this a big loss for you do you wish that the Canucks gave him a better look do you wish he was better do you wish that the Canucks somehow protected him which although it became kind of impossible once they acquired Jason Dickinson let me know your thoughts your initial thoughts on this potential loss of the he'll be the one player and it's a bit I, i'd say it's a bit of he's a bit of a player than say lucas pisa who we lost to vegas in 2017 but still the jury is out and how much of an impactful nhl player he can be or eventually will be leave a comment i love to read react and reply as always i'll do all my shout outs all my hellos all my greetings in my next video but i'd love to know your thoughts on colin likely going to the seattle kraken as part of today's expansion draft have a great day god bless and go canucks go